Hey everybody, I was in my garage working with the door open the other day, um, checking a battery, and my neighbor was coming by and he talked to me afterwards. He says, oh, you have a battery tester. Uh, you know how to use it? Can I, can you test mine? I said, well, you can borrow it if you want. And he said, oh no, I don't know how to use them. And I explained to him, I said, if you can use a calculator or a phone, you can use these. They're very simple. I realize that some people might not know and they might just think, oh, it's I don't need it, it's too complicated. They're really simple, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how they work. Um, this one's an Ansel BST200. I've had this for a while, and it works fabulous. It's a great little machine, and they're all very similar. Some of them have a printer that'll print out the results. Um, some of them, your, your car scanner or code reader will do this also. But this is just a little standalone 12-volt battery analyzer. And all you do is you hook it up to your negative and positive. Make sure you get that right. Yeah, let's hook that up. You'll see it comes alive when it does that. Doesn't require any batteries or anything. Tells you the voltage of the battery, 12.80 volts. So let's enter. You can do battery test, view result. The result would be of the last test I did. You can change your language, version information. Basically, all you're ever going to use is the battery test. So we'll hit enter. In vehicle or out of vehicle, as you can see, these are the batteries out of my Miatas. So they're obviously both out of the vehicle. The vehicles are in storage. So let's do out of vehicle. Type of battery, regular AGM or gel. These are just regular wet cell batteries. Cold cranking amps, cranking amps, MCA, JIS. I don't know what all these are. I always just do cold cranking amps. You can probably Google those if you want, but here just for reference. So it does cold cranking amps, cranking amps, MCA, I'm not sure what, minimum cranking amps, JIS, SAE, DIN, IEC, EN, and that's it. So I just basically always use cold cranking amps. So we'll hit enter there, and you can go up or down. This battery, you can look on your battery somewhere. Both of them have a tag. So this one's cold cranking amps is 320. So let's go down. Is that 550 right now from the last one I did? Let's go to 320. Come on. There we go. We'll hit enter. Please wait. I know this battery needs to be replaced. So it tells you replace battery, 12.77 volts, 254 cold cranking amps rated at 320. So that's no good. Um, It'd probably be fine for me in summertime. I don't drive the car in winter, but I don't want to be stranded somewhere, so I'll replace it. Uh, it's in the car my wife drives, so I'll replace that one. I'll keep that around the garage for something. You can scroll down. Um, SOH is state of charge. That means it's only 67% charged. Um, state of charge? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. SOH is state of health which is 67%. That means that's the maximum this battery will charge now. It's like your cell phone battery. You know, after a while, it'll only, it'll say 100%, but the capacity isn't that long. It doesn't last as long as it used to. Same idea. SOC is state of charge. That means it's charged 100%. That means it's not going to get any more than 67%. This is as good as it gets. Um, RES, reserve, 11.88 volts of main reserve so that's it so let's try it on this one now so we know that one says it says replace battery it could tell you good battery charge or, or good battery so let's just disconnect these we'll move over to here this battery should be good 12.55 volts Battery test, out of vehicle again, regular cold cranking amps. And this one is 600 cold cranking amps. So let's go to 600. Hope you guys can see this. Please wait. Good battery. So it's 12.55 volts, measured at 584 cold cranking amps, rated at 600 is down about 16 let's see so state of health 82 percent i'd say anything below 75 replace the battery 
I don't know what the battery, what this tells you, what the percentage it is. State of charge, 94%, so it can still be charged more. It has been sitting. I haven't put it on the charger for a while. I periodically put them on a tender here. Um, reserve, 5.35 main reserve. I'll have to look up what that means. I'm not sure. So that's it. But this is a good battery, and it says good battery. Basically, all you need to know, good battery, good battery recharge, or bad battery replace. That's all you need to know. And they're really simple. Like I say, anyone can follow it. This is how it starts when you hook it up. Hit that. Battery test is all you want. Out of vehicle or in vehicle, regular type battery. Your battery will say on it what it is. And that's it. It's really that simple. They'll come with instructions if there's any variation of this. They'll tell you. But that's it. They're really simple. Nothing to be intimidated by whatsoever. And they're worth keeping around. Um, especially for those of, us, those of us that live in cold climates, um, have battery problems in winter. These things help a lot. All right, so now that we know how this works, let's figure out how one of these works. This is a carbon pile battery tester. They're, they're the uh, analog version, whereas that's the digital version. I kind of like these better. These are easier to use. They're both accurate. I'm not going to pick one over the other. Um, these are way more convenient, take up less space, and I frankly use that 90% of the time. Use this now and then. But let's learn how to use these, because these aren't obsolete. These are still good. Let's hook it up to the to the battery. First, I'll show you. So there's a little dial on it instead of a digital gauge. We're at six volts on that side up to the, this little part there. It says, okay, that little section is all for six volt batteries. And this is for 12 volts. So anything up to here, the volts, it'll, it'll say bad. It'll tell you bad, weak. Uh, your cranking app seat step drops down 200 and it, your, your needle will line up with that. And okay, blah, blah, blah. There's a chart. You can test your charging system with this too. We're not going to get into that. Um, caution, very hot surface. This gets hot. There's some a coil in there that gets hot. It, it puts your battery under load. It's a load tester. Whereas this one doesn't really put a load on it. So this will give you a more of a true state of your battery. Read full instructions before use. There are instructions on the back. Battery analyst, good green, tells you battery capacity is okay. Battery may or may not be fully charged. Check specific gravity, blah, blah, blah. It tells you what to do and what they mean. Temperatures, decrease rating, you know, if it's minus 20 to zero Fahrenheit, plus 20. One step is 50 cranking amps. It's, it's, they're all the same, these ones, so... You can read yours when you get it, but they're simple. You don't need to know all that. All you need to know is hook up your, on your clamps, hook it up. Now you see it says we're, we're great. We're well past what we need, but what we need to do is put it under load. So what we do is we connect the battery, hold load on for 10 seconds with load on read meter. Right now it's fantastic. It says we got over a thousand cold cold cranking amps, but let's put it under load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're in the weak section at around 200, it says on here. So that's no good. We don't want to do that. We already know this battery is no good. So let's try it on the good one now. That's, that's starting to get warm already, just for that quick thing. You can smell it too. It smells like a heater. You know that smell in sp springtime or fall when it's, it's chilly out and you get out the little portable space heaters and you turn them on for the first time and they have that burning dust smell? I love that smell. Am I weird? I don't know. I'm weird, but for other reasons. Let's try the same with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The meter's lining right up at about 600, if you guys can see that. It goes way high there, but we're right on the 600 line. You see the, the coils in there getting hot and she's smoking? So there we go. That battery is excellent. Tested perfect. This thing is hot. You can, can you see the smoke coming off it? So wherever you put this, I hang it from something over here off camera. By itself, so it's, it's not going to burn anything. But that's it. Anyway, I'll put it back. So that's all. If you have any questions or comments about these, these two types of battery testers, just ask them down below, and I or I'm sure somebody else will answer them for you. 
but they're both really simple to use. I wouldn't recommend one of, over the other. They both work great. They both have their purposes. Um, that's it. And like I said, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. See you later, guys. Take care and keep your batteries charged.